double now let's move on to double play mechanics for the base umpire now you notice I already got the batter runner up there and the runner let's 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 make a play here a little bit get that runner coming and batter runner's not quite there yet of course right so what is the bait just like any other ball that's hit a ball hit to the outfield or a ball hit to the infield you step up with the foot on the side of where the ball is hit so if the ball is hit to the shortstop you're gonna step up with your right foot as you're facing the plate okay so you step up you get turned around and you're parallel you're ready to be parallel okay and you're set for that play at second now when I say set standing set you're looking at it and as soon as you determine what it is you take a step or two towards first on that step or two towards first you're making the out call okay all right Bugsy set up right as I said on the edge of the mound uh, dirt about halfway back here we go Ground ball to shortstop. Notice the position. He's got the first out, and he's already over there to take a few steps to the right, go towards second base, or excuse me, first base for that second uh, back end of the double play. It's very important you see the whole play because why? If they drop the ball at second, then you're going to go charging back towards second with safe, safe. He dropped the. You're yelling, he's out. It's a step or two, and as you're stepping, he's out. You don't stand there during the set and say he's out and then move. It'll it'll slow you down too much, okay? You won't get that whacker at first as well. This is a good advanced tip. From what I can see from the Red Book, they don't get involved with this too much. They uh, basically are keeping you stationary. <laughs> I'm telling you here from umpireteacher.com, you got to get some steps, okay? You want to be a good umpire, you get some steps. I know they take some of this stuff out of the Red Book in the umpire school because guys who have not worked the system, um, it just confuses them and it screws them up and so forth. But when we were taught in the 70s and 80s, they really pushed this stuff, and I think they, they shouldn't have took it out. I think they should have left it in, and that's why I'm teaching it this way. And Vic and Frank are right with me. Ken Lehner is, and uh, so is Eric. So here we go. He steps up, turns around, looks at the play. All right, the play happens. Take And as he's stepping towards first, one, two, he's out. I get a nice angle there, and then I got... And on this play, you can get down on your knees because it's the last play, okay? And then he's out there. And that, that's the way you would do that. And we already discussed what the plate up.